Second fight of the night, three three-minute rounds in our unified amateur featherweight division. Introducing first to my right, the man fighting out of the blue corner. Standing five foot ten inches tall, his official weight, 144 pounds even. His record, no wins, one loss. Representing Central Alberta BJJ in Lacombe, Alberta. Please welcome Mike Rowe. His opponent, this man fighting out of the red corner. Standing five foot eleven inches tall, his official weight one hundred forty four pounds even. His record two wins, one loss. Representing Gold's fight team here in Calgary, Alberta. Please welcome Armin Dio. When the cage door closes, your referee in charge is serious Andy Social. A big pop for Armin Dio. Yeah, it'll be an interesting style matchup, you know. Deal using his uh, is a lanky jab and a strong wrestling game and uh, micro uh, a strong grappling game. So it, I'm primarily more jujitsu focused. So I'm interested to see how this goes. Both fighters take the center. Fast. Uh, Roe almost with a karate type stance. He does come from a karate background. He teaches karate, I believe, at one of his schools. So as you can see, how he kicks as well is very. Uh, uh, very karate based. Unfortunately, I don't like where his hands are personally, but uh, he's that's that karate style a, for a lot of people. Head kick, uh, unintentional there. Deal going for that single switch to the double off those knees and driving towards the cage towards us. Um, good work there from from Deal uh, eating that hard strike and, and implementing his wrestling game. Locking those hands there. The big thing is with these amateur gloves, they're so thick, so it's hard to get a really nice uh, nice grip. Looking for that out. Right there. Do you all must be very satisfied with the way things are. Yeah, you know, he's got head, good head positioning. Um, if, if you notice, I'd like to see him kind of like turn the corner a little bit more to kind of sit down on that half guard if you want to start striking, but each uh, own preference. As you see, without doing that, Micro is able to come back to full guard. Now here comes the big thing. Is Deal able to put his head and neck on the cage to really set up the ground and pound and prevent his pump from standing up? You know, he's got good ground and pound here. Top control and some heavy strikes landed by Deal. Hammer fist trying to Split through the guard of Rowe, who's trying to be mobile, trying to move. Uh, Rowe really needs to control that posture because every time where there's a little bit of extra space, you notice that he starts to just start hammering. Right here, that shin shield is doing nothing but hurting Micro, unfortunately. He's creating a platform for his opponent to lean on and hit as hard as possible. These body shots, they look good to the judges. They don't hurt really in the moment, but tomorrow they will. Big and, strikes. And like you're saying, they, they look good. Whether or not they're really changing the way that Rose fighting, the fact is that they're scoring. Yeah, um, there needs to be a little bit more, um, you know, he just needs to do something a little bit more. See, now he's starting to work his way up. Um, he needs to uh, look for an overhook so he's not giving up his back, but Deal doing a good job. He's picking that leg, keeping that pressure, good head positioning here while he has those hands locked and really keeping his body leverage on top of his opponent. Rowe waiting for his moment to spring up, giving up his back momentarily. Deal threatening with the rear choke. But really, until the clapper just went, his job is just to stay on top and Win the round. Yeah, exactly. It's been, it's been all deal this this round, essentially. Rowe has to dust himself off and not focus on what happened in round one. It's a clean slate going into round two. How difficult of a challenge is that? It depends how his training went. If he's a top guy at his gym and he's beating everyone up, it's going to be a lot harder for him to be able to pivot and change everything. You know, he looked good when he was the when he was the hammer, landing those big strikes, trying to attempt those big strikes. But inversely, when we come out and you're getting pounded on for three minutes, two and a half, it's kind of hard to dust yourself off. You, have, you got to have it upstairs and have that mental wherewithal. Big thing is, I think he's a little bit complacent on the ground. Maybe he's confident in his ground skills, but 
you know, his opponent scoring on those big strikes, and he's on top hitting you. Now, Rowe, aware of the game plan of Dior, because you would imagine if you're in the corner of Dior, so if we want that round number two to play out exactly the way round number one played out. Oh, he, he had all that success. Why would he change yep. that thing? Um, you know, like, if it ain't broke, why fix it? You know, he showed a dominant control, big strikes every time Rowe was trying to push off or use a knee shield to kind of keep him away. It was... Nothing changed. You know, he just kept hitting him. Why change that? Just do more of that. That's all I'd be saying. Give me another round, same thing. Super. Will we see Roe anticipate the takedown and try to land something debilitating? You seem very upright. He needs to be nice and long. See, that's the thing. Letting his opponent in on that uh, high crotch. Good pivoting there by uh, Armand Deal. Needs to cross face more. Big double leg coming up. Hands are clasped. Yeah. There we go. A nice little trip. Um, and he's on top inside. You know, uh, just in half guard there. And good control, almost like in an arm triangle position, really easy. But he's just he's just happy to hit here. And if you're dual, like, why would you change anything? Like, you're threatening with a head and arm choke. You're punching from this position. You're winning positionally. Yeah. Things, things are going your way. Yeah. Um, the big thing is sometimes we get a little bit uh, excited to finish with the submission. And we put our body in a bad position. The nice thing about the arm triangle, you're not really giving up too much. And right here, you can generate a lot of uh, a lot of pressure. It doesn't even have to be a good arm triangle. He's just able to squeeze. He's got the cage on his side, and then gets the finish. Gets the finish. What's up? What's up? Tap is a win. Um, unfortunate showing from from Micro, but uh, deal keeping the pressure on, using his. Uh, wrestling effectively, ground and pound, and just slowly switching that arm triangle as uh, one of the banners get tripped off. And the other thing is about that karate stance, it's two square. So as you see, Armand Deal was able to hit that high crotch, finish right into the double leg, and just an easy, easy trip. He was in so deep. You know, as I talked about in the first match, you can lift, but Armin keeping uh, keeping his composure and just looking for that takedown. I think a lot of people, when they look at, you know, the big picture of mixed martial arts, they've seen the success that Stephen Wonderboy Thompson has had, the, the success that Leona Machida has had, Connor, of course, uh, Henry Cejudo changing his stance, almost karate, karate-like. So you would imagine any of these fighters that have that background, they want to showcase what they've spent their life working on. I agree to a point. At the same time, it's like Wonderboy Thompson was U.S. Open champion, I believe. Machida, Brazilian champion. You know, like all these guys are top, 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 top. And they did so much work on the wrestling. And they study in, in Muay Thai and stuff like that. You know, it's not like I'm at my uncle's karate dojo. Sure. And, you know what I mean? And not to, to put anyone down. But at the same time, you got to look at it like they're... Um, their background is so deep that it allows them to do that. And then they, they still respect MMA and they put the other parts of the puzzle in there. All right, for the official decision, we'll send it up to Don Andrews. Fight fans, the official results are in. Your winner by tap out due to rear naked choke. 58 seconds of the second round from the red corner, Arvon Diaz. Very happy man as he gets the big victory here in Calgary, Alberta.